are you guys doing today? Coming at you with this beautiful looking field. I've been at this field a few times before, but today, I don't know, it just looks exceptionally beautiful to me. I, I don't even feel like these trees were right here. Got a little walk through here. I got all these new flowers here. And I've been here recently, it's all new. But what I wanted to talk to you about is how me worrying about these flowers coming aren't gonna make the flowers come. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. What I really want to talk to you about though today is how the human mind, how us as people, how I do this myself, how we like to worry about situations thinking that if we don't worry about it, we're not going to see a problem coming. We're not going to catch it coming. We're not going to be able to deal with it. And what I really just want to honestly make a point of in this video is the idea that if you don't worry about it, you don't worry about it. And then when it just comes, you just deal with it while it's here. You're gonna be able to solve it. You're gonna be able to deal with it better. It's not gonna be as big of a problem as you thought it was. It'll be easier to overcome it. You're gonna be able to focus on it. All this and more coming up at you. In a nice, beautiful field. I won't use any names, because I don't think it's necessary, but I have a relative. Not to put any him down. It just, it just does a good example, it's a good way to tell this story to you guys just because it's going to help explain the point now he's worried he's got to get home so that he can find parking because he lives in a crowded city and if you don't get home early he ain't going to find a place to park and then he's got to be at work early the next day yada 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 you know he's far from home you know you know you could keep going on all the like little things he's worrying about but the big thing is he's worried he's got to get home to find parking and you know, the way the human mind works, you know, he's just kind of going along with the patterns where he's just like, I got to worry about it. I got to think about it. I got to find the parking. Not, no offense to him, but it's like, this is just how the mind works. You're just like, I got to do this. This is important to me. Like, this is my life. Like, you know, I need to worry about finding parking or I'm not going to find parking. It sounds... As I'm saying it here, you might not really understand the picture I'm trying to paint, but just paint yourself in situation wherever, whatever you're worrying about, wherever your worries are, just think about it. Think about what you're worried about right now, what you worried about earlier today, what you're going to worry about later today. What do you worry about every given day? What are your problems? What are your concerns in life? Why do they worry you? You know, I'm sure you have all these valid good reasons like, yeah, he needs to get home. He needs to find that parking space. I get it. I get it. But what I was trying to explain to him, which I really want to explain to you guys for the point of this video, that worrying about it doesn't do shit for you. It doesn't do a damn thing for you. It does nothing. Absolutely nothing for you whatsoever it makes things worse if anything it's not going to make things better if anything is going to make things worse now granted maybe you think about something because you're like i got to think about it so i can do it but you know how many of us have phones these days that we can just write a note in check it out later set an alarm set a reminder you know just put the information down take an action towards it to at least get it off of our minds get it off of our chest feel like we did something and then let it go <laughs> just let it go that just it feels like i'm just gonna throw that in here but like honestly just think about this he's got to go home so he can find his parking is if he's here right now let's just say he's here right now and he's got to go home right now somewhere far he's got to go find parking there what is worrying about that right now gonna do besides make him more stressed out make him more tired make him more irritated maybe even i don't know for all him but for me it might even trigger a little bit of anger like i'm gonna feel like i'm just ready to be triggered i'm just ready to snack because i'm worried about it and i'm standing here and i can't do anything about it and then the other thing I try to explain to him is that if he doesn't worry about it, if you don't worry about it, then when he actually gets home, when he's actually there, when he's actually looking for that parking space, because he didn't do the first step, remember how I said, what is really going to give you, you know, stressed out, tired, angry, you know, frustrated, irritated, all these things, since you're not that, because you didn't worry about it, if you didn't worry about your problem, then when you get there, when he gets home, when he gets to his city, wherever he needs to go, now he can focus on that. Now, you know, that's, that's the crazy thing. That's what, honestly, like, the human mind doesn't get. And I say these things, and people are like, what the hell are you talking about? You sound all spiritual, woo-woo. 
But I'm just trying to tell you, the human mind, the human body has natural instincts. It has natural responses to situations that it does. We're not in as control of it as we think we are. And I'm just merely trying to lay down the groundwork, the guidelines for you to actually take control of your life. That's honestly what every single one of my videos are about. It's just... Okay, I see how I'm naturally responding to a situation. That takes a great deal of awareness, but I see my body wants to do this while I want to go do that. Or my body is doing this and I'd rather be doing that. My body's getting stressed out over that and I'd rather not worry about it and just get there and just do it and not have to think about it. But that's not as easy you know, done as it is said to take control of your mind, to take control of your body. That could be one of the most complex things to ever do, which is why I honestly, I make videos about it every single day and every day I can, I'm studying about it. I'm learning more about it. I've learned about it for years. It's a really complex thing, but not to get back, not to get too off, a tra off track. I just really want to help you in this video learn how to manage and deal with stress and life situations and problems a little bit more i like to not use the word problems i like to use the word situation that can help you a little bit but you take your situation you stop worrying about it with the understanding that worrying about it isn't going to do anything for you and if you really have to do it like i said make a note make a reminder call somebody tell somebody to remind you just take an action towards it do something to get it off of your mind out of your chest not carry around all this baggage of all your problems all your situations with you and just take life one step at a time more problems are going to come more problems are going to come this is like trying to just paint you an image problems are always going to keep coming in you can't really just stop having problems all you can do is learn as a human how you can manage your problems better how you can manage your stress levels your anger levels your sadness your anxiety your depression levels better and then learn what truly makes you happy what truly gives you peace of mind where are you truly relaxed and at ease and not based on material or even outside circumstances but based on you it's getting is where it gets a little spiritual, a little woo, but you really can kind of come inside of yourself and find the state of mind where you're not so stressed out, you're not so worried, you are at peace no matter what's going on in your life. And I just laid out some of the groundwork for it in this video where I tell you when you have a situation, you take that situation, maybe you write it down, make a note of it, and then you let it go. And then when it comes to you, when it's here, when it's in front of you, when you can deal with it, then you deal with it. Because if you wait till then to deal with it, instead of, you know, people get, the mind is like, oh, I got to figure it out now. I got to do it now. But it's like, you can't figure it out now. You can't. If you literally, there's something you literally could do now, then yeah, you do it now. But we got to understand how many of your problems are of a future situation or a future event or task that you have to do and you're worrying about it so much before you get there that that's worse than even actually doing it what if you had to stay calm you just like this is just life i gotta go deal with it i'm gonna deal with it i'm gonna make it through i'll figure it out i'll figure it trust in yourself this takes a lot of trust in yourself trust in your ability to figure things out trust in your ability to solve a problem a situation and get over it just honestly just Believe in yourself. Believe that you're gonna take care of it because for the situation that I'm using for the purpose of this video, the story of him, he has to go over there to find parking. You can't do anything about that now. You have to wait till you get there to actually look for the parking. So the only thing you're doing right now, only thing you're doing is stressing yourself out. It's literally the only thing you're doing. And the point of this video is not to tell you Oh, don't get stressed out when you gotta look for parking. It's just to tell you not to get stressed out when you have any kind of problem, any kind of situation, any circumstances, anything that troubles you. Don't. There's no point in stressing over it. You know, like, that sounds like, well, I'm gonna stress out about it. This is bad. I gotta stress out about it. Come on, my life. There's problems. I gotta be angry and upset. Is like, 
I just want to explain to you that you can deal with problems. You can. You can make choices. You can make a choice. Try it to not let situations stress you out so much. Not let them get you angry. Not let them overcome you. And to just calmly handle them one step at a time. Now just as a little, maybe just a little thing to end this video on. Why not? Try to think about all the times you've had a problem, but you probably didn't call it a problem. Just, you had to do something. You had to overcome something. You could even be home playing video games. You had to, you are there or building a puzzle. It could be something simple. How many times have you had an actual problem? Problem. And you didn't let it stress you out. Maybe you even took it as a fun game. Maybe it actually was a game. Like, I don't like... I'm trying to avoid jumping too far in different points and trying to keep the video like on subject and on point but they say the actual purpose of playing games is to give yourself a problem to overcome that's technically all you're really doing when you play any kind of game if you're sitting at home playing even a video game you're just being thrown problems and you're overcoming it and it's supposed to be a fun experience and my point is that life can be like this life if you want to find out how I'll be uploading daily videos, breaking it down one step at a time. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely life.